Close your eyes and find a comfortable way of breathing. Try to be aware of the whole body as you breathe in, the whole body as you breathe out. And remind yourself you have no other responsibilities right now. Just be right here. Settle in right here. If you're going to be doing some thinking, you would think about what kind of breathing would feel good, and what ways of maximizing the pleasure from comfortable breathing. In other words, allowing it to flow through the body. And otherwise, letting down all your other burdens. The mind carries so many burdens around. This is why we suffer. It's not that the burdens place themselves on us. We're the ones who pick them up. So at least let them down, to some extent, for a while, so the mind can gather its strength and be more sensitive to itself, so that when it does pick things up, it can learn how to be a little bit more selective in what it picks up and what it leaves behind. As I mentioned last night, when the Buddha said one of the signs of wisdom is when you realize which duties fall to you and which ones don't, and you take on only the duties that fall to you. And as for other people's duties, or as for things that are nobody's duty, you let them go. Focus on your responsibility. Right now your responsibility is get your mind in good shape. As for your other responsibilities outside, you can put them down. It may look like you're being irresponsible, but in the long term you're being very responsible. After all, you want your mind to be in good shape all the time. It means you can't overextend it. You've got to give it places and times to rest, where it can feel at home. Look around and have no burdens that it has to pick up. And that way the mind begins to expand. Because we focus the mind on our tasks of the day, and so many times those are just little tasks. They may require a fair amount of effort, but they're such small things compared to what the mind is capable of that it's a shame that all of our strength and of all our intelligence goes to little tiny things. Whereas we don't take care of the larger issues. The larger issues are the well-being of the mind. When you look for a well-being that's solid and secure, you're not the only one who benefits. You're not leaning on other people. It's when your well-being is not secure, that's when you're actually being irresponsible. Because the mind will inevitably lean on others. But if you develop a sense of well-being that you can tap into whenever you need it inside, then you're a lot less of a burden to others. So you're putting down your burdens right now, and you're also not adding burdens to other people. So the meditation is a good thing. Time to rest, time to gather your strength. So you can take on the duties that really do fall to you, and you can do them well. <laughs>